three people on. Start another video though. Good morning guys, my name's Trevor. We've got Dylan here helping me out. Today, we're gonna show you how to jack up a car uh sort of safely on a trailer yeah this isn't osha approved so dad if you're watching this i'm sorry first step is i got the mini jack in there and now we're gonna get this jack to go up and go ahead keep going keep going contact oh tighten it up you have to put it all the way up my jack's kind of you have to go up more and then turn it all the way yeah there you go yeah, it's kind of a pain. Keep going totes as tight as you can get it. It is a good jack, but it's just not very friendly. There we go. And as you can see, we are now off the trailer. It's super sketchy because we're on a trailer. looking good we gotta get this thing jacked up real high because we gotta get under it welcome back tuning back in here so we have now got our jack stand up our front is up but our back is also up so we're gonna go to the other side now work on the mini jack we might not even need to honestly we might be able to get the big jack right under there Let's give that a shot real quick. And I want to sit you guys under here and you guys can watch the fun. <clears throat> Let's see, can you see me? Oh yeah. Is the back side going down? Yeah. Swing shift scared me. <laughs> it scared me too. <laughs> I need my belt today. That's why we were pants and fit, good buddy. No more loose gear. 
clothes. We're not teenagers no more. We can't that's do that. A, that's my problem. Is <laughs> <laughs> they don't make pants that fit me. Oh, yeah. You got that problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, the television today sponsored Dang. is Dr. Pepper. You know what we should have done before we did that? What's I that? always do this. We should have loosened the lugs. Gotta take the wheels off. Oh yeah. Hmm. But have... anyhow, I mean, look, guys, she's sturdy. Oh, dude, she's you sturdy. Got an impact right here. That'll be good, man. Plus, you got this, to... that one looks good, but this one. To... Hold got... on. Let's look at that one. Is that one crooked or is it just me? It's a little crooked. I think it is a little crooked. Oh, it's a little crooked. <laughs> But it's not digging into the trailer. I think it's only crooked because of that hole. I mean, guys, she's sturdy. I don't know if you can see that. But I got the whole thing shaking. Even Dora's shaking. So, I'm going to call that success. We're going to rip off these lugs. Whoa, that looks weird. <laughs> That looks really weird on camera. <laughs> Looks like my wheels bent in. <laughs> so, let's begin. I guess, actually, this is the end. This is another step in the process of replacing the harmonic balancer on my LS1. Step one was removing the alternator. This is step two. Step three is going to be removing the wheel, the steering rack, and then we'll have a step four of actually doing the balancer. So, thanks for tuning in. If you guys enjoyed this video, smash that thumbs up. Drop those comments down below because I know there's some of you that are like, what on earth are you doing? That looks sketchy. It probably is. So, let me know down below. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button and we will catch you in the next video. Have a great evening. Just in case we you thought we left it crooked like it was, it's now straight. Just like the other side. So what was happening is it was digging into the trailer here because it wasn't quite level. So now we got that fixed. Thank you guys. Be safe.